All right. I have to warn you, I tend to get a little bit loud when I've had too much coffee. So my recommendation to all of my viewers out there who are wearing headphones, you may want to turn the audio down just a little bit. All right, just a quick reminder for all of you who are following my shows faithfully, tomorrow night is Saturday night, and uh, in uh, at 8 p.m. New York time, UTC, negative 5. Please see the show notes below because uh, it could be Sunday in your time zone when the show starts. We will be having the Linux Zoo Crew, where we are going to have a discussion on Arch Linux, and this would be a good opportunity to also talk about Arch-based distributions. So you'll definitely want to check that out. And while we're on the topic of Arch, I had some of my viewers mention they had some difficulty with installing Liquid Lemmer on their, uh, on, on their hardware or in their virtual machines. So I figured I would go through the process of showing you how to install this. It's relatively straightforward and easy, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. begin. Now, the first thing, this is the first thing you're going to see once you boot your Liquid Lemmer Live CD. And uh, let's go ahead and close the tips and tricks, but you may want to review them. Control Alt and uh, move a window to the next workspace. You know, you have some keyboard shortcuts, that sort of thing you can use if you wish to use them. All right, first, let's go ahead and install Liquid Lemmer Linux and uh, wait for the installer to come up here and then we'll proceed. Okay, and now that we have the installer running here, uh, we are presented with a nice little welcome message. And I really like how they uh, laid out the installer as well. That It is kind of neat, although I am having a little bit of an artifact on the screen. No problem. It could be because I have 3D acceleration enabled and really I haven't quite set it up yet. But I'm just going to go ahead and click next. It's already selected English for the United States. Okay, and then it wants us to select our time zone. So I'm in America and I'm going to select New York from the list here. scrolling too fast. Okay, and then we're going to choose our keyboard layout for the United States. And I just want... Hmm. Okay. Never had to do this before. Let's see if we can move these around so that I can read this a little bit better and see what options it gives us. How about United States as an option in here, huh? I'll just click next. <laughs> I'm not even going to pick one. Okay, Dev SDA is an 8 gigabyte drive I have allocated to put this on. Oh, whoops. Maybe I better press and click on it first. There we go. Okay, I'm going to select automatic partitioning method and then erase disk in a single partition setup. Although, the way I have my Arch system set up is I have a separate partition for home. Why don't we do that option? Okay, and then I'll go ahead and put in my name. And uh, we'll call this
if I learn how to type today, it's nice that an Arch variant has a graphical installer like this, though. Okay, and we will install Grub to Dev SDA. You want to make sure that you select your first hard drive that has the boot sector on it, otherwise it's not going to work out well for you. Okay, I'm pleased with those settings. And then we will allow the operating system to install. All right, interestingly enough, this went just as fast as uh, Brian, the, one of the lead developers, was telling me on the talk show. The install went really quick on this. I think Archbang actually installed a little bit quicker. But hey, this is a GUI install. I think this is magnificent the way they set it up. I saw a few little graphical artifacts and that sort of thing uh, on the screen. But that could be something on my end that I did. But all in all, very good. So now let's just go ahead and press the reboot button and see what we get here. Oh, right. Interesting. I did not know this. This uses Berg. And it gives us some options here uh, after rebooting the computer. So I'm just going to select to uh, to boot Liquid Lemmer GNU Linux with Linux Linux. And uh, this shouldn't really take too long to boot. Most Arch installations uh, that I've uh, had uh, booted rather quickly. So. Uh, as a matter of fact, on my computer, it takes me 15 seconds from uh, the uh, compact splash screen to boot into my login screen, and then 15 seconds from the login screen to my desktop. So 30 seconds total, which is really, really nice. All right, and it looks to me like we've got a successful installation here with our tips and tricks and everything. All in all, very nice job to the developers on the Liquid Lumber team. Uh, looks like we've got, a, we've got our desktop all set up and we are good to go. All right, so I hope that answered you guys' questions that we're having some issues with getting this installed. You could see that I got it installed very easily in my lab setup here. Please comment, like, and subscribe if you thought this was any use to you. Also, Google+, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date every time I send a new video to my channel. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time!